I'm here with Alex Faye, and we're here at the Brooklyn Beatdown. So let's talk about this event. What's happening after the fact? So everything went on yesterday, so, but what's happening now? Yeah, so this is the type of stuff that nobody really talks about because you have the preparation of the event, who's going to be there, what's your expectations. But then once everything is done, the postmortem happens. So this is like all the top players gathering together to see what went wrong, right? Or what went right. And uh, so this is what they do to prepare for the next event because this, we only get to play each other in an international level when there's an big event like this. So we have uh, multiple casual stations is what we call them where people can just play for free, you know, the, the guys that are still in the area. So what do you think about the Brooklyn Beatdown? What makes it different from other events like EVO? To us, the, the whole esports spectacle is fairly new, like the, the, the whole transition and just more like the, pro the progression part, right? So now we're at a, a location that has plenty of room. It's got a lot of setups, right? Uh, it's very structured and organized. It's, it's got a lot of coverage. Okay, so a lot of eyes are on these type of events, huge prize pool, and then of course the international players that have come to get that money. CSGO is the main event here, but so what makes the fighting game community special? The fighting game community, it, it's born grassroots, it's born right next to each other. So we kind of demand playing each other. We don't, like there is an online culture, but it's all about playing right next to you. Guys. you it's, you get that satisfaction of beating somebody down right next to you. You, you, you can't get that feeling out of any other esport. I'm telling you right, right now, because if you play, like I say, Counter Strike, you have your teams, but then the other team is all the other, all the way to the other side of the stage. You play your opponent right next to you, and that's like the greatest feeling, feeling of all. That's what makes us special. Okay, so SoCal Regionals are coming up. What can we expect? Yeah, SoCal Regionals is the final U.S. Capcom Premier event. So uh, it's October 14th to 16th. We're gonna have a lot of the players from here go over there to get try to win that American money and the spot for the Capcom Cup seat, right? Uh, I mean, we, we're gonna have obviously Street Fighter V, a lot of other events, a lot of big prize pools, media coverage. It's big. Like it's from the West Coast. That's like the biggest event that we have outside of Evo, right? And uh, I'm co-founder of the event, so I, I can't compete, unfortunately, but. I mean, it's for the greater good, you know, I want to give everybody like the best opportunity to get those points, to get the prize pool, have a great time. It's in downtown Santa Ana, so there's, I mean, 15 minutes away from Disneyland. There's a plenty of stuff to be there, so I hope, you know, everybody has a great time. And where can we watch it? Yeah, you can watch SoCal Regionals uh, at uh, twitch.tv slash leveluplive. Uh, if you guys want to watch the Capcom Pro Tour event, which is at SoCal Regionals, it's on uh, twitch.tv slash Capcom Fighters. Thank you so much. You got it.